Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and today we're looking at an application called Bunch. And it's possible to use Bunch with Raycast as well. So have a look at the video I made about Raycast, because Raycast is really good as a launcher, and it does a whole lot of other things as well. But let's get into Bunch. Bunch is really cool. Now I could use Raycast to open up a number of applications, one at a time, to get my workplace ready, and that would be a bit tedious if I've got, say, four or five or six applications I want to have open when I'm doing some stuff. So, for instance, I might have some applications I want to open at the time when I'm doing some screencasting. That could be Subler, BB Edit, might have Drafts open, ScreenFlow, and maybe one or two others as well. And I want those all to open at the same time and be ready, available for me to use just for being quick and efficient and getting the job done. And probably amongst those applications I get open at the same time is going to be Affinity Designer because I'm doing a lot of Affinity Designer tutorials. Go and have a look at those if you want to find out about Vector Design because it's a brilliant application. So another thing I like to have open as well is I like to have open the Finder at a specific folder so that I have all the bits and bobs of um, movies and pictures and stuff that I need to drop into the ScreenFlow document when I'm doing the editing. So that's a lot of stuff to get open and have ready for when I'm doing a screencasting session. So I've got this application bunch and with it you can open a whole pile of stuff all in one go and not have to press it. It's, it's automation, it's brilliant, it's getting stuff done. So let's have a look and see what we've got to do to set it up. So we've got bunch here in this browser just to show you how to get it and you can download it when you set it up, what happens is that it creates a bunch folder inside your documents folder. You can move it other places if you want to, but probably best just to leave it there so you know where it is. So here we are in the warp application, which is my terminal of choice. And I'm going to open up the bunches and show you what I've got. And you can do it in other text editors as well, but I like to use NeoVim. So you could use BB Edit or, well, various other ones anyway. But I've got used to using NeoVim lately, and I like it. I can use it from the command line. Do you know what? It's time for you to hack the YouTube algorithm and to put a like onto this video and a comment as well. It helps people find the stuff. Thanks a lot. OK, so here we are in Warp. And Warp's very good, by the way. Um, it's a terminal which is quite different from iTerm, and I've got so used to it. I tried using iTerm the other day, and I didn't really like it much. So here we are in the Bunches folder. I'm going to open up one of these. So let's do NV, which is my alias for getting into NVIM. So I press the space bar and we're going to have a look at the Screeny Bunch. So let's uh, use this here, go down to Screeny Bunch, press Enter, press Enter again. And there we are in it. Now you can see at the top of the file there, I've got this front matter. So this is front matter is where you've got these three dashes here, followed by the front matter, followed by this here to close the front matter. And in it, I've got it set up so I can hide the desktop. If I'm doing screencasting, obviously I want to have it as clean as possible. So I'll get those bits and pieces off the screen. And also you want to have it on Do Not Disturb. So you haven't got things popping up on the screen when you don't want them to be. When you're doing some screencasting and you want it sort of uh, um, without sort of phone calls coming in or messages coming in or any other notifications. So that's the uh, Do Not Disturb. This one here will hide applications. So anything that's open already, I'll put it to one side. And then here, what I've got, I've got a Brave Browser, because I'm going to leave that open, or if, open if I haven't got it open already. This here is Drafts, and this thing at the front here, the uh, percentage sign, basically what will, that will do is to make it so that it's active, so that it's uh, there ready. Obsidian, I'd like to have that open, because I'm going to have some notes in there, probably. BB Edit's going to be open, because I do some the editing of the chapter headings in... BB Edit that have been made in Subler. And then Microblog is the application I use to do a bit of um, sending information out about the videos I've just made. So I've got a Microblog, and what I do is I put it into that, and it does a bit of cross-posting for me as well. So I send um, stuff off to Mastodon and also to Twitter. And it's got a little, it's a nice little blog as well. So it's well worth having a Microblog. I might do a bit of a tutorial about that at some point in time as well. I like it. And then obviously I want Finder open, and this is Finder, and it's opening up at a specific folder. And this uh, V element, that video element underscore local. So basically that's having it ready, 
and as I say I'm doing a lot of um, videos at the moment about Affinity Designer so if I click on that it's going to open everything I need to be able to do some screen casting let me show you it in action up in the menu bar here this is the bunch thing here and I've got screening on there and that's what I clicked to get the whole of my computer ready for doing some screen casting but I've got another one which is really cool let's go for this one here it's called Quickie and what this does is it opens up all my social activities there and puts up on the screen there and at the end of it it goes to Moom and puts everything on the screen up here except it didn't do the messages messages open but it didn't just fit it right um, I've got that set up in um, Raycast so I do Raycast and I can do top left quarter and that's the way it's supposed to be so let me just go back into Moom again go to preferences and I'm going to tell it to update the snapshot because that's what it's supposed to be like this with these four things here ready for going okay um, let's have a look in warp and see what we've got here and here we are in warp and I'm going to have a look at the social dot bunch so let's go into social dot bunch we'll do NV and do space and then the one I want to go for is social dot bunch so let's click on that there press enter okay so this is what this does this is the title quickie and I've got to change that to um, social okay that's better so I've got the title set up properly now so this what this is what happens with this particular bunch so clear the screen first that's what those two ampersands do and then I tell it to open messages micro dot blog ice cubes which is for mastodon and then drafts and then when I close this bunch it will open up warp and put warp to the front and centre for me ready to go and then this at the bottom here this tells application moon to arrange the window according to the snapshot social and then at the end of it here so this part here the um, tilde and then 10 that is actually a thing which tells the, the moon application to wait a little while before it does the uh, arranging of the windows okay so let me just come out of the uh, insert there go back into normal going to write this here so um, do a colon and then write and then quit so here we are in this uh, setting again I've got messages up there I've got um, this one here with drafts I've got uh, ice cubes down here I've got the micro blog is all ready to go and I can go back up to my bunches now and I have made some changes to the bunches so I've got to, to refresh you have to do that sometimes and now I've got this up here and I've got it here with social so you remember I changed the name of it from quickie to social so let's go with that or I can press number three closed it down and it brought up warp for me and put warp in the front and center ready to go you may have to do a little bit of fiddling around with this to get it to work just the way you want to do but it, it it works okay in fact let's do it from raycast this time so i'm going to do a command and space to bring raycast up and i'm going to go to bunches and do search bunches and in search bunches i've got the social one there and it gives you a little bit there just to show you what's actually in the bunch as well so you know what's happening and i've just got to press enter to get it started so everything's opening up it's actually opened up on the other screen on my computer not on the main screen but it should start setting up on the main screen in a minute there we go so it got, did everything there apart from putting the messages in the top left corner the messages is actually open so if i bring that and i can tell you that it did there so it's still better than the um, having to sort of open up all the applications one at a time but the message is actually left on the other screen there and the moon didn't bring it up and put it up here where it's supposed to it's a bug in there somewhere I can't do anything about that I have to wait until they fix it but anyway this is Dave Allen I'm good and geeky and this has been looking at Bunches, Moom and Raycast talk to you again soon bye bye now